Oh shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! You and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. 
You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Rahim, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Rahim, I don't see you. Where are you? Lose. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself! Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious! Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a noob.
All right, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. Job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. To me. Crane? Shit. Shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. 